Good day, guys. Been here.、Um, I I was working on this 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 exercise. Uh, try to try to model something like this.、Um, as still not there yet.、Um, so as you can see, it's not perfect. So see, there's, there's overlapping there.、Um, I I probably need an, another couple of days to、uh, to figure out how to work it, how to、um, how to make it work. So today.、Uh, We're going to talk about、um, uh, texture material in Revit. So as you can see in this image, so、um, so this is in a realistic view, and because all these, although the materials on this、uh, surface are the same, you can see the pattern. They won't match. Okay, so、um, how can we how can we、um, how can we make all these、uh, pattern match to each other? Okay, so let's start. So first, I'm going to create a project, and let's just use a similar material. So it looks like a, a concrete、um, panels. So I'm going to first model something. Okay, so maybe just some wall, W A wall.、Oh, it's not floor, sorry. W A wall.、Uh, I'm going to use generic wall, and maybe just find a material for it. So maybe. A material with some patterns, so in、uh, appearance. So maybe I'll just create a new material, right? Na- rename,、uh, for example, con- cre- precast concrete. Okay, so concrete. Okay, so now let's go into the、uh, appearance library. So on the concrete. So let's say.、Uh, If we can find a, 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 a concrete with a little bit pattern in it, so、um, yeah, it's a, a little bit hard to see. Let's see, let's see if we can increase. Our,、uh, we can't increase size of this. Maybe here.、Um, maybe this. Ah, yeah, that's better. <laughs> okay, so now you can see all these patterns, right? So maybe. Um, something similar to that.、Uh, yeah, can't really tell. Maybe I'll just pick one. Okay, so maybe pick this one. Okay, so now double click. That's all good. So it, yeah, it will go into this material. So let's click on OK. And okay, so this is a a wall, right? So. Okay, W A wall. Let's create four and make a floor underneath. Tab, finish. So and also I'm going to use I'm going to use the same same okay material. And、um, after that, so let's just change this one to realistic. So you should be able to see、um, okay. So see p- this pattern, and also you can see this pattern on the floor. Um, maybe I'll just copy this one. So, copy this one onto level one. So we have another、uh, floor on, on level one, right? So and then I'll Control C, I'll paste onto level one as well. So we have another full wall on top of that that floor. So now we have this wall, this wall, this floor, and this floor. And maybe I'll make this floor a little bit thicker. So I'll just duplicate and make it three hundred, for example, and use the same、uh, material. So okay, I'll I'll change this one floor. I'll change this floor to the three hundred one as well. Okay, so now we have all the model. Okay, so now let's have a look.、Uh, so you can see the pattern here. And the pattern here, they are not aligned. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky. So you can't really align the them align them、um, in realistic view because there's no pattern. You can't、uh, you know align and pick anything from this. So what we can do, and also、um, you can see there are actual lines. So you can see there's overlapping, or this this is.、Uh, This wall stop 
uh, space at here. And what's that? Uh, oh, that's a that's this wall. So let's have a look. Uh, because we this wall um, at top constraint um, unconnected with four meter. So maybe instead of that, let's what's this level level one. So let's change this one to level one. So uh, okay. So tab. Ah, uh, so we don't want to select the upper wall. Change this one to level one, and this starts from level one to four meter high. That's fine. Okay, so now you can see these two long. They are the four long. And okay, so what we can do to get rid of all these long is we can just join them. Okay, join them. So you can see once we join, we can get rid of these lines. Okay, but still, the pattern they are not aligned. So although this one aligned with that one, but the floor in the middle they are not aligned. So how can we fix this? Okay, so now what we're going to do is let's go to one. So actually, we can just do it in three D view, but we need to use surface pattern um, to to help us. Okay, so. So what we're going to do is so first, I want to check the size of these pattern. So to check them, so you can go to appearance, and so this image. I just want to check the size of the image. So so we can see this is okay. So this can be a little bit tricky. <laughs> um, 3657.6 is from here to here, which means so that's one panel, two panel, three panel. So if I divide, divide, if I divide, divide this by three, will be this the size of this, uh, the same on this side. So this is one, two, and then divide, divide this by two will be the actual uh, size of this. So now let's do it. Oh, maybe maybe do this. We don't need to divide. We just need to remember. I'll just do a screenshot of the this image so I know exactly what these two number is. Okay. Uh, now we need to go to graphic. So currently, because we create, we we created this material, so there's no patterns by default. We can create a pattern, okay? So a surface pattern to help us. So it will be a model. So and then here we need to create a new new pattern. Let's go to just have a look at this one. So uh, okay, so it will be cross hash with zero degree or ninety degree. And then line space one will be. Um, uh, I'm not sure which one's which. <laughs> Let me try try 400. Okay, so this is a height. So height will be this, which is 3657.6. So we can use uh, equal three three. Uh, sorry, I forgot. Three six five seven three six five seven point six divided by two. Okay, so that's it, and then. And the other one is three six five seven point six divided by three equals um, three six five seven point six divided by three. Okay, so now I think this is it. So I click on OK, and this is a pattern, and I click OK, and I click OK, and OK, and OK. So now if I change this one to hidden line or shade. So let's try hidden line. So you will see we have this pattern. So this pattern should match uh, the pattern in realistic view. So now what we can do now is um, actually I'm going to duplicate a 3D view. So in this three, and type WT, so we have two windows, 3D view window, right? So now in this one, I'm going to change this one to hidden line. And so now with this hidden line, we can try to oh hell. 
So it looks like by default, this material is not showing on the edge, although that in the uh, realistic view, you can see the pattern here, but in this one, it looks like uh, this, the edge of the floor is using, I think, default uh, floor material. So what we can do is because we join them. So if we if if we use switch join order, so this might help us to uh, no, not this this one and this one. Nah, nah, doesn't work. Let me try. Hang on, let me just have a look again. So this is a floor. This is, so if I switch floor and this wall. Okay, so you can see, so in previously, in, um, the the wall, the wall uh, has been cut um, by the floor. <laughs> so now if we switch them, so now we can only see the wall instead of the floor. So, okay, so let's just do this to the other side. Yeah, all good. And also see another line here, just join join with, I'm um, not sure which one. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, that's fine. So we can probably try this uh, corner, uh, not corner, wall joins. Click on this, next, all good. So now we can try to, so let's just do this, AL align to this, you will see, this will change the pattern in realistic view, okay? Yeah. And then, and also, oh, so actually, we can just align this. So um, align, use this. So you can use tab to pick the pattern. Okay, so tab, tab. Yeah, that's better. So exactly same size, right? So you can see it's a slightly different size because that's that's the difference. So we can align and. We're good um, the same so this and okay so this is a floor is below the uh, zero level zero we can't we can't we can't use join us uh, we can't use a uh, switch join order but we can just paint the same material so I'll just go to here paint and find that I'll just type precast concrete um, where is it? This one. And then paint here and paint here. And then we just need to align. Uh, maybe maybe here. Yeah. So I think that's 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 perfect. So here, maybe this one. Yeah, I think that's good enough. So now you can see it's um yeah, I think um I think that's right. So that's a little bit pattern in the middle, another pattern in the middle, but I think that's right. Okay, so okay, so let's have a, another another try. So on this side, so same. First we can join join to get rid of all these lines. Okay. And then so use this uh, hidden line with the surface pattern to help us uh, align these. Um, so you can see we can use switch join order. Okay. And also we can use paint to to actually paint a, a surface pattern onto this surface, onto the edge of the floor. And then we can use a line tool. And, okay. And they use, uh, and it's maybe just, just use this line. Oops. Yeah. And a line, maybe this. Yes, you can always check the the um, re realistic view, and maybe I'll use this. 
All good. And you can also use move. Um, you can you can sometimes you can just um, pick a line. So for example, like this, tab and pick a line, and then use your keyboard to move the pattern. Uh, but looks like oh, when you when you move, when you do this, it's invisible in this view. So maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe just use line tools. It's easier. Okay, and this is it. So, how to use surface pattern uh, to adjust to adjust the realistic view? Um, what we call it to adjust the material or texture in realistic view. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.